Tech Shop is a maker space. We give people access to all kinds of different tools. Here in the city, you would need a lot of space to store and run these things. We'll open it up as a membership-based system. My name's Laura, and I'm a dream coach here at Tech Shop San Francisco. So uh, what kind of people are coming to Tech Shop? Is it artists, designers, engineers? All of the above. There are actually people who do their production run of their part that they sell in Ace Hardware out of oh, our injection cool. molders. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So how do people get access to the machines? You sign up or you come in and you take a class. And you guys offer classes in tons of stuff, like everything from like 3D CAD stuff oh, yeah. to metal work to... It's welding and woodworking and sewing. I mean, it's just goes on and on. We, I mean, we even saw a guy, he's got a, a street map of San Francisco and he's laser cutting every tiny detail of all the dead end alleys and the one way streets, everything. It's, it's amazing. That's a really good example of something that, you know, even us as staff weren't even sure if that was possible. I think when you give people access to tools, it'll probably push design in a lot more interesting directions. Thanks so much, Laura. Let's go uh, take a look around the shop. Yeah, let's go. So I'm here with Gavin and Zoe, Tech Shop members. What are you guys doing here? We are working on a stool right now, a snap together stool, and we want the, basically the joints to fit perfectly in there, so I think the CNC was the best way to go about it. Start using digital design, okay. usually. Well, we start with a hand sketch and then go to digital okay. design. And then we try to quickly get it to mill so we can take a look at it and sketch on it. We actually draw on the piece, cut it down, and sculpt it by hand, and then go back and take a look at it again digitally. Each one of these probably took maybe an hour and a half, and a little longer for the legs, so maybe two hours for the legs, front and back. So, and, and this is a reductive process, so you take big blocks of wood yeah. and then it routes them away, right? Yeah, we do a lot of laminating, as you can see. <laughs> Are you professional woodworkers? Uh, we're both trained architects, oh. and back in the days when people used to work in wood shops all the time and build models, so that's how we started. Very cool, thanks guys. Thank you yeah, very much. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Terry of Tech Shop, and we're in front of the Tormach. What is the Tormach? The Tormach is a personal CNC machine. It's used to cut anything from machinist wax, you can do steel, aluminum. What members will use this for is they will go through uh, designing whatever they want on uh, the inventor software upstairs. They'll take that through a cam package that we have, come down here, literally plug the G-code in, which is a, a text-based vector code. So it'll say, go to XYZ, go to XYZ, go to XYZ. You take that aluminum block, right up to the injection molder, put it in, hit go, and you get your injection molded parts out. It cuts metal. <laughs> Check this out. It looks like a more professional version of our maker bot. That's because that's what this basically is. It's the BFB 3000, that stands for bit for byte. And like our MakerBot, it prints ABS plastic. It'll also print water-soluble plastic, so you can build really complex objects, like gears, little bicycles. Super cool. So now we're in front of the Epilogue Laser. It's a CNC laser cutting machine. And what does it cut? Well, we cut paper, cardboard, wood, leather, felt, even acrylic. Actually, let's test it out. You see the laser in the corner, and you basically put any material inside, flat material, and with computer, you can calibrate uh, how deep you want to etch, whether you want to cut all the way through, and even how the burn uh, is around your stencil. That is pretty awesome. Look, it's printing testicles, the logo for test.com. <laughs>